We begin with a stunner in San Francisco. The top ranked Gonzaga Bulldogs fell to Arkansas in the Sweet 16 tonight. The Zags were nine and a half point favorites going into tonight's game, but things just did not go their way. Our sports team has the very latest from the Chase Center. Good evening, guys. Good evening, Mark. Yeah, kind of doubling down on that theme. Yeah. Uh, Arkansas only was given a 14% chance to win by ESPN's basketball power index. So uh, this was this was certainly <laughs> quite an upset here in San Francisco. Yeah, safe to say, shocking what you would call this. But uh, this is March Madness, guys, and that's why you play these games. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Gonzaga came into this contest a 53% shooting team yeah. on the year. They have been stunning. Uh, they've, they've been they've been very, very efficient at <laughs> shooting. That did not happen tonight. Bulldogs second worst performance shooting of the season under 38%, which included a five for 21 performance from three point range. Here's a stat that really shows how rough of a night it was. Gonzaga was 11 of 22 on layups. Just one of those contests the Bulldogs only worst shooting performance this season the St. Mary's loss at the end of the regular season where they shot under 37 percent poor timing for the Zags to have uh, <laughs> one of these off nights yeah. to say the least the Zags have struggled in the first half of the tournament in or in the in the uh, in each game of the tournament in the first half but found their legs in the second half tonight the second half magic was kind of there, but it wasn't there as much. Let's put it that way. After the game, Drew Timmy fought back tears when asked what he said to his team after the loss. Um, I just said that uh, I was uh, sorry. Uh, I just said that I was proud of us, and uh, it was a uh, it was a hell of a ride. Uh, you know, it didn't end up the way we wanted, but. Uh, we came to play hard and get, it just, you know what, it just was their night and you got to give them credit for uh, winning the game. You know, they won the game fair and square and uh, they made great plays. But I told them, uh, just thanks for being my teammates. Thanks for being here. Uh, you are my brothers to the end. I wouldn't want to do this with anyone else. And uh, take a moment to just thank uh, your families and uh, Zag Nation for uh, all the love and support they've had through the uh, through all the goods, ups and downs of this season. It's been a grind this season and uh, I, I'm not, I couldn't be any more proud of these guys and uh, I know I'm not alone and when I say this, I have uh, no regrets about this season. You know, I, we put it all out there. We came to work every day. We played our tails off and uh, I'm proud of each and every one of us for that. Here's an image that will be burned into Gonzaga fans' memories for uh, maybe ever. Chet Holmgren leaving the floor for what most likely is his final time in a Bulldogs uniform. Not the way he or fans would have wanted. Holmgren fouled out with about three and a half minutes left to play in the game. Really hurt the team's chances late, but it was bigger than those final minutes as Holmgren was forced out of the game due to foul trouble throughout the entire game. The big advantage Gonzaga had in this game was its superior front, front court. And that was taken away by Arkansas attacking the rim and forcing the freshman phenom out of the game, which Arkansas said post game was the goal. It was a big aspect tonight. I mean, Chet, I thought, was playing good, and he was getting to his shots. And uh, you know, we were trying to call his number and, and, and get him some more uh, actions when we could. Uh, but yeah, that was hard. That was difficult because I felt it was it was one of those games where he was able to get his touches. Drew was able to get his touch touches, and we just you know needed to kind of you know without wearing Drew out, we needed Chet to you know, be able to stay in there a little longer. And again, he's just such a different. We're so different on defense when he's in there with his rim protection. We've learned that as Andrew Nemhard goes, so does this Gonzaga Bulldog team. He has been an anchor for them all season long. Tonight, the senior guard struggled mightily, going two for 11 from the field. And one of those made shots, a prayer of sorts at the end of the game. On top of the struggle shooting, Nemhard had five turnovers and just three assists. An uncharacteristic game for him. You could tell he was a little speechless after the loss. It was definitely disappointing. Um... As coach said, I felt like I got to the spots I wanted to get to. I, I got shots that I usually get on a regular basis. Um, just didn't fall for me tonight. Um, that's all I can say about it. 
So the season comes to a close in the not so sweet 16. And after the game, Andrew Nemhart, Rashir Bolton, and Drew Timmy all were speaking to the media about the loss. And they were asked a question about the future. So a lot of question marks with them. Will they be coming back? Will they not? Mark Few put the kibosh on that question. <laughs> he hopped in and said, let's let's not talk about that right now. Yeah, he said things are just too emotional right now. I don't want my guys going on the record with that. So we will have to wait and see what those players say in the coming weeks. Yeah. And we will have to wait and see what this team looks like. Uh, looks like in a few weeks, by the way could be a commitment coming on Monday yeah. with Anthony Black. So uh, we could have new Zags coming before you even know it. Right. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, reporting in San Francisco, he's Travis Green. I'm Brenna Green from Two Sports.